Hi my friends, today we model this part, you see there are some features and the drawing is this one, all fillets radius 5, all chamfers 3 at uh, 45 degrees. We start by creating this revolution volume 120, 30, 40, diameter of 100, diameter of 60. Let's do this. Standard millimeters IPT, XY plane, and the drawing. in that uh, shape 120 is the height this is uh, center line and we continue with uh, other lines diameter of 40 up diameter of 100 in the mid and 60 at the bottom this distance is 30 finish sketch Revolve. Okay. Then we create this cut. You see here, and you can see here, of course. This cut. Dimensions radius 16, angle of 45, and the center is placed at 5 millimeters from the axis and 75 from the bottom. Let's do this. The plane is XY. F7 I project this line we need to do this, I start from a point with a line, I keep press the left button of the mouse, I go diametral opposite and tangent ending to the generator. You see, all the necessary the constraints are here. Good. Dimensions. Five is this. 75, the other. 75. Radio 16 and angle, but I don't have a vertical. I project the y axis, I make it uh, construction. This is construction to place the angle of 45 now we have a fully constrained sketch so that we can apply extrude 
symmetrical cut all the way okay you see the result now we see that uh, cylindrical features dimension 90 and 40 diameter of 60 and 40 let's do this we create a new plane based on xy plane to the left at 90 then I forgot to mention uh, this 75 the center for both cylinder sketch circle 40 on the same vertical with the center point and placed at 75 from the center point finish sketch extrude to the part okay then I create a new plane based on this on minus 40 I hide the previous plane I project this geometry F7 to have a center then I draw a circle of 60 finish sketch extrude to the part okay now you see this cut this face yes with dimensions 65 angle 35 but unfortunately this plane cuts also this end so we have to apply a triangle here and uh, extrude not split the plane is yz f7 we project this face and we draw a line starting from here and going to this generator dimensions 65 on vertical and 35 degrees the line the line 35 I also project this to faces generators because I want to apply extrude for this area and this area symmetrical cut all the way okay next is uh, this hole this right the diameter 24 distance 75 and uh, it doesn't go outside to the right let's do this we use the plane yz for a new sketch f7 we create a rectangle the distance to the center point is 75 
five. This is an axis or center line. Diameter is 24. This uh, end line contains the center point. And if I project this line, I can apply collinear between these two. Now we have a fully constrained sketch and we apply revolve with cut. Okay. At the bottom there is a hole. Diameter of 20, depth of 40. On the other direction is a diameter of 8 and distance of 13. Let's create these two holes. Hole, face, center, distance, diameter of 20, not depth. Depth is 40. Diameter is 20. Okay. The other hole must be created with the extrusion we draw a circle diameter of 8 placed on the same vertical with the center point at a distance of 13 finish sketch extrude this is the only closed contour. Inventor knows all the way to the right. You see now the two holes. Now you remember all fillets are radius 5. All chamfers 3 at 45 degrees. This is a fillet of 5 and this is the other. Okay. Chamfers are on the bot bottom. 3, not 2 in both edges. Okay, now I think we finished the part. Let's see. High properties, physical, update, copy, close, drawing, double click, and the new value is identical with the previous one <laughs> so I cancel modif to modify material is uh, steel stainless steel and uh, the light is uh, default light visual style shaded without edges let's compare do you see anything no of course not that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye